away. Okay. Right. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is that um, an excellent point considering you know, the amount of injuries and the suspension you had to do? It is. Also considering the fact that Arsenal began the game so well and uh, we found it very hard in that opening 25 minutes to get close to them and to really exert serious pressure. We screened off the balls into the into Erzin and Lacazette quite well, but we weren't able to get around to Erdo, Shaka and Louise as we would have liked. And as a result, they ran the game for 20, 25 minutes, showing a, a fine array of technical skills. But we put that right in the 15 minutes or so before half time, got a lot closer to them, made life a lot more difficult for them. And that continued into the second half. And of course, it, when uh, Obama Yang get sent off, that made their task harder. And we continued in the same vein. And as a result, I think that over the total entity of the game, we can be very pleased with the point, but it certainly was a point that I think we, we thoroughly deserved. And I'm full of praise for, the, for this team who once again been able to go out there and in very difficult circumstances produce a performance in as one of the country's top clubs and get a deserved point. Well, how's uh, Max after that second? Well, not happy, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I knew at the time, it was very close to me, it was a bad challenge. I want to emphasise that I'm not accusing Obama Yang of deliberately trying to injure the player. I'm sure he didn't. It's the type of challenges sometimes that forwards, when they're recovering and trying to sort of show the right degree of aggression, make. But um, when I saw it after the game from the video and I saw the same thing which presumably the people at Stockley Park have seen. Um, it, it's no doubt that it's a red card and no doubt it's a very bad challenge and I'm a little bit surprised that we had to wait so long for that decision to be taken. And on the crowd saw it, their reaction said it wasn't made because yeah. Max, I think yeah. that's that Yes, I mean, the position of his ankle uh, as the challenge comes in is not, not a pleasant thing to see. Um, I'd be very surprised if there isn't some ligament damage there. But of course we won't know that until, until Monday. He was very um, upbeat after the game in the sense that he's convinced he's going to be okay and that he'll, he'll get over it. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to wait till Monday until the doctors have done their work to really find out if it's just optimism and bravado on his part or whether you know, he can seriously be mended to play in the next game. Because I've got to say that in our current situation, we, you know, I put a starting 11 out today and I think they've done exceptionally well against one of the top teams in the country and a team that's playing very well at the moment. I think we've done terrifically well. But if I lose any from that starting 11, then things are looking exceptionally bleak. And Roy Farr upgraded that yellow card that some of the Palace fans Holding up signs of like saying Vars killing the atmosphere, killing yeah. the passion, killing the game. Yeah. And VAR now. I think what you've got to do with VAR, in, and, and, and if you were to ask me about fans, is get the fans in, speak to them. You know, I've accepted VAR. I, I accepted it. When this season started, I knew that I'd be coaching a team through the league season and that VAR would be in operation. So I'm not going to suddenly turn around and say, that's wrong. I accepted it. I signed up for it. I'm one of the coaches, like the other 20, 19 in the league. We all signed up. This is how it's going to be, and this is how it is. The fact that it's becoming a little bit unpopular, or some of the decisions becoming unpopular, and the fact that fans all around the country are manifesting their displeasure, that's another subject altogether. And I don't intend to comment on that. Um, that's something that is their prerogative to do and it will be up to the authorities if they want to take any notice of that protest. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. I know you, you don't often like <coughs> singling out players, but I'd like to know your thoughts on Cairo Real World in this performance. Today. Fantastic, wasn't it? I really am delighted for that lad. Um, I said to him, uh, how long ago now? It was when Patrick Van Arnold was still fit and playing well. I actually remember saying to him, because we don't have any natural left-back cover, we don't have any natural right-back cover to Warden 
Um, Van Aanholt and I knew that I was going into a season with two good formats, right and left, but if either of them got injured, it was a different story. Turns out, of course, both get injured and both get injured at the same time. But I remember talking to Jive and saying, don't you think you could play left back? And he was very reticent about that, very, you know, virtually saying, no, I don't think I can, I, I won't be able to do that job. And I actually said to you the other day, you know, I, I did tell you, I knew you could do the job. Um, and what we're seeing with Jai now is we've always known there's a very good footballer there, but we've not been able to find a place for him or a home for him in the team with the way we play. Now we've found a home for him, and he's playing on a regular basis, and with every game I think he gets better. So I'm delighted with him, but I'm also delighted for him because he's been a model professional for the last two and a half seasons. Always training, always doing his job properly, never complaining. Disappointed, of course, that the coach, i.e. me, doesn't play him in the team. He's entitled to be disappointed. But fully understanding of the fact that I have a choice to make and the choice has gone elsewhere, so I'll get on with my job. So hats off to him. And if he's going to get any praise today, and maybe in your... What newspaper do you have? The Voice. voice. I might buy the things if you're going to say nice things about him. I might, I might be pleased to read it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. So, did you speak about Wolf today? I thought we'd talk about Bayern last week. What talk about Bayern? I mean, what was talking about the move, the low move to Bayern? The low move to Bayern. Was it serious? <laughs> where, where did you get the story from? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you, is Carl Heinz still there? Is Carl Heinz Rummel is still there? I, don't I think I'll give Carl Heinz a ring on that one. He's a friend of mine from way, way back. And I'll say, is it true that you seriously have actually put in a bid to loan our best player for six months? So we go into the last part of the season without our best player. Is it true? And next time, if he says yes, I'll answer your question. But I don't think he will. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Thank you. Yeah. He looked rusty, I thought. He looked rusty. I mean, he hasn't played many matches up to now. Um, but we haven't necessarily brought him in to suddenly go and change us and transform us to a team that doesn't score a lot of goals, to a team that goes and wins each match 4-5-0. We brought him because we know he's a proven goal scorer. And I think the more he works with us and the more we work with him, he'll understand what we're looking for. He'll understand more about our play. And I hope he'll have kept that goal scoring instinct which he's shown throughout his career. And just on the Max injury, if I may, if he is out, does well, that affect the thinking from it further in the window this month? In terms of our thoughts in the transfer window, they, they don't change enormously. You know, it, They don't sort of change on the basis of this has happened, now we've got to react. Anyone we bring in will be people that we bring in because we think they're the ones we're going to need for the next 15 games. You know, so it won't be just this particular two or three weeks because we do have players coming back. And you know, maybe at the beginning of February, I might be sitting here with quite a few new signings, you know, people that for the last six weeks I've not seen. But if there's players out there that fit our profile and in the positions we're looking for, I still believe the club is as anxious as I am to, to bring them into the club. Thanks, guys. We'll do a few minutes of the numbers. Okay. Thank you, Jamie. Good morning. 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 Good mor